Is that your boyfriend over there? Pumpkin, is that your boyfriend? You wanna go see him? Come on, let's go see camp. Come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> see right now. See right now. All right, hey everybody, real, real quick before we get into the review of the Jerry Can water purifier. Um, a lot of people had questions on how I know which people follow me and which people don't. And if you just go to somebody's channel and look under which channels they're subscribed to, then you can see who those people follow. And so like on my channel, you know, if you go to it, here's a little screen capture. If you go to it, you'll see, you know, all the different people that I'm following. And then you can do the same for other channels if you go to them and you're just curious about who they're following. Not, not every channel publishes who they're following. You can you, you can say you can put that to private, like within the YouTube settings. But a lot of people don't, you know, just have it open. So um, that's how you can tell who follows your channel and who doesn't. So just a heads up. All right. Not only is this water purifier awesome, you can use it as a as a handy little uh, chair. <laughs> my, my other chair broke, the Helinox can chair that I had. So I got to pick that pick another one up. Um, but I wanted to say that I just ordered a new type of winter camping setup and so I'm really excited It's gonna be arriving in about four days And I think I'm gonna switch over to that and go a little bit more mobile this winter and go to different areas that have storms and set up and camp in this new setup and then Break down and get out of there because it's all it's all meant for backpacking So it's a titanium stove that actually folds down flat and then you've got a stove pipe which rolls up and so uh, that's gonna weigh about three pounds and then the tarp that I'm getting it's actually a TP style tent it's like it's like a tarp style tent and it's got a stove jack in it it's for three people and it's got uh, an interior tent for winter camping that's that's on the inside of it that you can hang inside that's for one and a half people so it'll be a perfect size for me and Sierra and I want to get into backpacking in the winter time and I've been talking about that for a while and now that I'm starting to feel better a little bit and the Giardia has kind of you know, run its course and gotten out of my system and now that I'm uh, gaining weight and getting my strength back, I'm thinking it's time to do that. And I probably won't start here in Colorado. I'll probably start doing that in Arizona. So I may pack up here and take off within about a week and then go to Arizona and just start winter camping around there around Flagstaff and Pine and some other areas and get into a little bit of snow, but not at the same conditions out here. Cause like this winter started off really, really with a lot of snow. This is the most snow I've seen in this valley for a couple years. And I, I winter camp here all the time. And so I'm thinking that, you know, with, um, with, with more storms coming and also too, there's kind of a little bit of a hardwood shortage around Colorado right now. It's hard to get um, any sort of hardwoods. And I don't want to run the stove with Aspen and pine because you just run through it so fast. If you run your stove on Aspen, you literally will stoke it every hour. And if it's cold out, you just sit yours up all night, just constantly feeding your stove because the aspen burns through so fast. So if I go out to Arizona and the place that I'm getting, it's got a bunch of uh, uh, juniper and then like cedar and uh, it's also got pinion pine on it too. And pinion pine's a harder pine, so that, that's a little bit better. But juniper is about 35 to 40 percent harder than pinion pine, and uh, I like it. I mean, it smells great, and people don't like some people don't like it because it pops in the stove, but I, I like that sound. It kind of it's like nostalgic to me. And so uh, I'm, I'm switching things up. I'm going to go with that. And so we'll, we'll see. Like when, my, when that comes in, I'll make a decision as to what I want to do for the winter. And I love this huge tent. It's awesome. But it's a production to set up. And it's a lot of gear. And I like to kind of be mobile. It kind of drives me nuts to stay in one spot. And so like I've been sitting here and like I get up in the morning and I'm just like, man, it'd be nice to go do something and go somewhere else today. But then it's like it takes such an effort to break this down. I can't just, you know, move on a whim. And that's what I want to do. I want to have it to where I can have everything in a backpack and not have my tent all weighed down with all that stuff. Or, I'm sorry, tent. Not, not have my truck all weighed down with that stuff. Because when I have all this stuff in the back of the truck, it's completely filled. And then the front of my truck has got crap all over it. And I don't like clutter. And so I think that um, packing up the big tent, just putting that in storage for the remainder of the year, and then use that smaller backpacking tent with the wood stove and the backpacking wood stove to go out and do more like adventure winter camping, which is what I want to do. So we're going to get into that and we'll see how it goes. And uh, also too, just want to wish everybody a happy new year. Um, I know this year has kind of been crappy for a lot of people, but uh, 
I think next year is going to be better. I'm positive. I'm, I've got a good outlook for it. I'm really excited for what I've got going on. I look forward to sharing that with y'all. And uh, my goal is just to keep on cranking out content as much as I can. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, keep on doing this stuff on YouTube and and uh, put out as much videos as I can and, and try, try to keep up in my game with like this new camera that I got. And I'm still using the GoPro 9, but I like the Canon. I mean, this Canon takes great images. And so the audio quality on it is fantastic as well. So I'll probably stick with this camera for a bit and then, um, you know, add stuff to it as needed. But I really like the drone. I really like the camera. I uh, love the GoPro, especially for underwater photography. And then now I'm getting that portable winter camping set up. So I plan to be much more on the go uh, going forward instead of being at one spot for two weeks at a time. So look forward to bringing y'all some new content with that. And I hope y'all have a safe evening. And uh, thanks for tuning in. All right, so I apologize. I forgot to include this uh, review in the last video. Uh, I showed the new Lifesaver, uh, Icon Lifesaver water purifier that I'm using this jerry can. And I um, was going to do the, the review on it and just completely spaced it. So I'm going to do it for today's video. So what this is, is this is a water purifier that holds five gallons that obviously isn't a jerry can design. Um, this is really convenient for me because I'm putting it on the back of my truck on the swing out extension or the, uh, the swing out on my... Uh, rear bumper and so a couple things I like about this number one it's real easy to use now uh, you just dunk it in the water and you're good to go number two it's got a handle on the back here so you can actually pump this up and, and pressurize the water and then on the front here you get a little nozzle all you do is just push it and you got purified water coming out that's being purified right when it comes through the, the purifier there so um, I really like this a lot. I've been using it now for about two weeks and it works really well. Um, I've noticed that the flow on this, it starts out a little slow and you have to do a few things to, to prep the, the purifier before you can use it. You can't just use it right out of the gate. You have to uh, rehydrate the, the coal activated interior and then let it sit for about 24 hours and then you can start using it. So, uh, but I've noticed that since every time I use it a little bit more, the, the, the flow of the water gets a little bit better. And so I'm thinking that if you're doing vehicle supported travel and you want to be on the go, something like this is really convenient because there's no time spent purifying the water. It gets purified when it gets pressurized and pushed through the, the filter here uh, before you get the water dispensed. And so it's a really great idea because like even when I had the, the MSR Guardian water purifier, I love that thing. But it'd be like 30 minutes every time I'd want to do about six gallons of water. And if I went really fast, I could do it in 20 minutes. But, you know, it's a pump on that. And so pumping for 30 minutes long, you get worn out. And something like this is just nice because it takes away that, that physical exertion, but you still get purified water and it's in a really handy container that you can carry around. So I'll put the link in the, in the video description below. I'm not paid to say this. I bought this myself and, and um, you know, I really like it. I think it's a, I think it's a really useful product, and this is really, really durable plastic. I've been throwing it around a bunch, just to kind of see how it would hold up, and it's doing really well. So, I recommend this if you're going to live on the road. You know, you can get one of these, and then you're pretty much just good to go. And they've got different nozzles too. You can get different attachments on here. Ones that have like a little sprayer hose that you would have for a, um, a, a like a sink at your house, and I think there's like one other um, deal. I, I can't remember what the other contraption or what the other um, attachment is but this is good stuff so I'll put the link in the video description below if you want to check it out they're about 300 bucks and that's a good deal for a really high quality water purifier and this is this definitely fits that bill so check it out yeah, I want to show you all where the water purifier is located it's actually right underneath the the uh, opening here and so when I open this up there's gonna be some water pressure or some air pressure in here so you want to kind of let it let the air pressure go out and then go ahead and take the top off whoops a little, little bit of a little bit of water coming up there let's dump this real quick and then in the in the interior you see this red one this is the water purifier and so um you just pull this out and you see it's pretty long it goes all the way to the bottom and what you want to do is is you never want to drain this all the way to the bottom and then let it dry out you want to keep this wet all at all times because it's a it's a carbon activated water purifier um, so keep two inches at the bottom at all time. That way this doesn't dry out. And then it's really easy, you know, once you once you dip your your uh, jerry can into the, the river, you just come back, put this little gasket on the top here to create the seal, and then put this on, and you're off to the races. 
So really simple way to collect water.